You know, it's funny, I think back to when I first started the channel and it was late in 2015 and my mom was, was, uh, was sick with cancer back then. And, and then she passed, today's the 14th, she passed five years ago next week. And it's been about that much time since I started the channel. I started making the videos back in 2016 after she passed in large part because I, I, I was, I was in a dark place back then. Uh, I, I didn't want to, it's funny. I didn't want to interact with people and I, I, um, I, it was just, it was just a tough period for me after she passed away. And I think, you know, how would she feel if she knew that I'd reached this milestone and she would be so happy to hear it. And yeah. Hey, you already know what today's video is all about. Uh, last month, December 2020, I reached my 100,000 subscriber milestone on YouTube, which was something I honestly never thought I would be able to do. And today, I wanna walk you through that process and how I got there and how I ended up getting this. So if you're, if you're here for the LLC videos and things like that, obviously today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Feel free to jump off, that's fine. But if you are a YouTube creator and you're trying to get that to that 100,000 subscriber mark, and, and I imagine whether it's 100,000 subscribers or 1 million or 10 million, the process is gonna be basically the same to get this award. But if you are a YouTube creator and you're striving for that award and you wanna know how the process works to get your plaque, then today's video, I'm gonna share that with you. Hi, my name is Jim Hart. I'm the founding attorney here at Hawthorne Law, where we help online business owners get their legal house in order so that you can focus on what you do best, building a business that truly matters. Like I said, today's video is a little bit different. So back on December 3rd of last year, I hit that 100,000 subscriber milestone, uh, which was a really exciting day, but uh, honestly, I didn't do any celebrating or anything like that. I just, it just was, like it just came and went. I didn't think much of it, but the first thing I did do is I wanted to figure out how do I get that, uh, that plaque. I gotta take a sip. You like that one? My wife got me that for Christmas. Yeah, so I, that milestone came and went and the first thing I did was go and figure out how do I actually get the plaque. I thought it would be just a, a simple matter of going into my creator studio, uh, entering some information, telling where to send it, and a couple days later I'd get it. Evidently that is not the way it works. There is a process to getting your plaque. It is a three-step process and if you go to, there is a webpage that talks about this. And basically the way this works is there's, there's this website where you can go to and, and basically you've got the silver creator reward, which is what this is. You've got the gold creator award for a million subscribers and the diamond creator award for 10 million subscribers. So the three step process is you have to go through an eligibility review, you have to claim your reward and then they ship it to you. Obviously the second two steps are pretty self-explanatory, you claim it and they ship it to you. The first part is the eligibility review. Now this is important because your channel can't have any copyright strikes, it can't have used like, you can't have bought subscribers for your channel, uh, you can't have any community guidelines violations or anything like that. Now I will tell you on my channel, I do have one community guidelines warning, which frankly I think was BS, but it was because I included a link, an affiliate link in one of my videos. I, I still am not quite sure what I did wrong. I don't use that affiliate anymore because somebody said it was uh, trying to get people to basically give their email address for nothing, which I still contend was, was absolutely incorrect. And it bothers me because those warnings stay on your channel forever. Just to let you know, if you've ever gotten a warning, that's not going to prohibit you from getting your creator award, but you do need to not have copyright strikes and multiple community guidelines violations because that is going to keep you from getting your reward. So that's the first thing. You have to go through this eligibility review. Now, YouTube will review your channel automatically to see if you're eligible for the reward. And if you are eligible for the reward, then they're going to include a link on your studio dashboard. I will tell you, I never got that link on my studio dashboard. And evidently, 
from reviewing some of the other videos on YouTube about this. That That's common. I imagine they're probably pretty backed up with people getting these awards. And so it, at least at the 100 subscriber, 100,000 subscriber mark, they probably have a lot of channels that they need to review on a daily, weekly basis. And so I actually had to take the following steps where I had to get in touch with the creator support team. It says, they, they tell you that if it's been more than three weeks since your channel reached the subscriber threshold and you believe you meet the eligibility criteria, then you may get in touch with our creator support team. And that's exactly what I had to do. So you can email them or you can chat with them. I took the step of chatting with them because I clicked the chat button and it was early in the morning and there was nobody waiting and so I got connected to somebody right away. But I did wait the three weeks. So I chatted with them and it, it, it I actually waited several days. I think three weeks would have been December 24th. That was Christmas Eve. I didn't do really anything with my channel that day or with work at all that day or on Christmas or anything like that. So then we had the weekend and we finally got, I finally got back to work um, around December 29th, uh, which if I'm not mistaken was a Monday. And I, I chatted with them first thing in the morning, I chatted with YouTube to let them know I was looking to get my, my silver play button. So I must have chatted with them on Monday morning because within a couple hours, they reached out to me and said, thanks for contacting us. I understand you want to redeem your 100,000, your play button after surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Congratulations, I've escalated your request. And then by 2.30 that afternoon, I received a message back from YouTube saying, congratulations, uh, we've received the results. Your channel has been reviewed by our specialist. Congratulations, you're eligible to receive Creator Award. To redeem your award, head to the Creator Awards Redemption website. So that's what I did, copied the redemption code. I clicked on the link in the email. It's already been redeemed, so I can't go in and do it again. But basically what, the, what they do is they take you to another page where you enter the name of your channel that you want it as you want it to appear on the play button. You enter your, your name and address where they're gonna send it, and then they tell you it's gonna come out within three to four business days. And, and that's basically the way that process works. Let's see, just tracking my shipment. I've already received it. They finished my, my shipment, and reminder, this was over New Year's weekend. They um, had my my play button uh, shipped out to me on July or on January 6th, and I received it uh, on January 9th. So that was pretty fast. Now, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. I've got my trusty buck knife. You know, I don't know why I got an orange one, but whatever. I'm not a hunter. Let's see what we got. If I cut myself, it'll be on camera. And they really make it hard to open these packages. Remember, so far, I see nothing. I've got a, um, and let's see. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement. The award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick, thank you, Rick. Appreciate your help. Oh, got a nice. Uh, this is, this is worth saving. It's a letter. Basically, it says some 100,000 subscribers. Just how far have you come? If each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's far. Anyway, blah blah blah. I'm not going to read the rest of it here. You've probably seen these letters before. And then it's not quite as heavy as I thought it would be. This is the award. And you know, it wouldn't be one of my videos if somebody decided to do belief blowing outside, which is what it sounds like. Very reflective. We're gonna put it back in the bag. I'm gonna take this to my office. I'm gonna hang it up in my new office that I'm working on right now. Oh, but there's more. You can recognize your team. So if there's people on your team who have also worked on your channel and they would like to order a creator award for their records, they can do that too, probably for a small fee. So clearly this was not a typical video and you know, I'm, I'm proud of this award. When I first started my YouTube journey back in 2015, I never in a million years thought I would have gotten to a thousand subscribers, let alone a hundred thousand subscribers. It's exciting, it's, it's really transformative. I feel very fortunate, I feel grateful to you who have supported me and my channel, to all my students out there who have supported me financially, to anyone who's ever purchased 
a product through one of my affiliate links or ordered an LLC through my company or through the companies that I support. I am internally grateful. I will forever be grateful for you. Uh, you know, it's I've, I've always believed that when you provide enough value to the world, that value is going to come back to you 10 times over. And, and I hope, I hope that I provide a lot of value to you through this channel. I mean, this is amazing. I didn't start on this journey on YouTube because I thought that I wanted to hit 100,000 subscribers. And I didn't start on this journey on YouTube because I wanted to make a lot of money. I started this journey on YouTube because, like I said, I wanted to share some value with the world, share something that I, I, I knew about the legal aspects of building an online business. And hopefully I've been able to do that through this channel. And I don't, like I said, I don't take any of you for granted. I'm going a little off the cuff here today. This is not what I typically do, but yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. And, and next week we're gonna get back to some more normal videos about LLCs and things of that sort. And also I have some really cool things coming down the pipeline in terms of legal uh, lawyer reacts videos to the way other people talk about LLCs. And so that's, that's coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll get back to regular videos next week. Take care folks. Check out this video right here if you wanna learn more about LLCs. We'll see you soon. Ciao.